Hello, welcome back. In this section, I will give you very quick introduction to the SQL scripting. But the actual power of SQL scripting you will understand in when we are developing uh, table functions, scalar defined, user defined functions, procedures and scripted calculation views and so on. So I will give the quick introduction and what are the features SQL script will get into development. So basically SQL script is a language to write a stored procedure or user defined functions etc. Like uh, even we can use SQL scripting in scripted calculation view. Okay. And as as uh, as SQL, the SQL script also extension of ANSI SQL. The main goal of SQL scripting is to eliminate data transfer between database and application layer. So what happens in traditional RDBMS is when you run a query, database will give entire data to the application level, application layer. And application layer will perform the business logics or calculations in the application layer and send the result back to the result screen. But in HANA, HANA database can handle business logics, calculations, etc. So in this case, there is no use of sending entire data from database to the application layer and perform the calculations over there. So instead, you can send the calculation itself to the database and database will perform the calculations and it will send back the result only the result set will come to the application layer that's how the mass transfer mass data transfer between db layer and application layer is reduced drastically which is the one of the big uh, performance gaining option okay so as said calculations are executed at database layer to get the benefit of hana database like column operations, parallel processing of queries, etc. Okay. So what are the advantages of SQL scripting? So SQL scripting uh, enable modular programming. So modular programming means you can split one big SQL statement into multiple statements and each statement result you can store in a local variable for intermediate results. Later on, you can work on the local variables on the further to optimize your result set and SQL scripting also supports parameters so you can pass parameter to the stored processor or function then based on that parameter your processor will work and give the result so kind of dynamic dynamically you are controlling either filters or whatever based by using parameters so simply things like uh, parameters like uh, variables when you are running a report. So when you run a report, you will get the variable. You can choose what whatever the date you want and report will run and uh, give the result for that particular date. Or you can choose any profit center or any country like that. Parameters give flexibility to run your script. And it also enables flow logic control like if then else in sql we saw case statement to somewhat mimic the if then else condition but here in sql script you can use actual if then else loop if then else condition and even loops like a while loop for loop and last option stored procedure stored procedure can return multiple result set if you compare with the SQL statement, whenever you run SQL statement, always you will get only one result set, one single result set. But in stored procedure, you can enable multiple result set. You will understand all these things in detail when we, when you start developing functions and procedures, scripted calculation views in coming sessions. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye.